So nutrition labels are meant to help us understand what's in our food, sugar, fiber, fat, protein grams, and so on. But the information can sometimes leave us confused. To help us decode the numbers, percentages, ingredients, and optimize our health journey, we're joined by fitness nutritionist and expert Jody Treerweiler. Treerweiler, sorry. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, girls. How are you? You guys are the best. How's it going? Good. Thank you for hanging out. This, this is, is intimidating. Is this intimidating to people? I think so. It's a lot of percentages. It can be, right? right? Grams. And they've changed the food <laughs> label over the last few years as well. And I'd like to kind of break it down and make it really easy to understand. Yeah, yeah please. First, like, tell everyone yes. why is what the importance is of actually reading the nutritional labels when making food choices. Well, when you read the label, you understand what you're putting inside your body. Right. First and foremost, right? Like if you're really trying to watch saturated fat, you might want to look right at the saturated fat. Or if your doctor says you need a little more calcium, you can go down and look and try to get more. So there's a lot of ways we can interpret this, but it is important that you know what you're putting in your body and your family's yeah, bodies, that's right. right? That's right. So the number one thing you always, always want to look at is the serving size. Because it used to be that even one bottle of a drink would have two servings in it. Right. They have done a better job. The FDA has asked companies to change the label to what people are more likely to consume. So you'll see less bottles that have two servings usually. So even if it's a 20 ounce drink or a 12 ounce drink, it should say one serving, mm. but you should look. Yeah. So this happens to be a food label for frozen lasagna. Maybe not the healthiest choice, but it's frozen lasagna. So is it Camille? Camila. Camila. Yeah. How many servings do we have in our lasagna, in our little pan? Looks like four here. Exactly. But a serving size is, Tati? One cup. One four. cup. Is that enough? 227. <laughs> that's not much. That's so a that's bit. one cup is the serving size. So all of this information is for a one cup serving. Mm -hmm. Okay? Important calories. Yeah. 280 for that one cup. Now, what if you sat down with that lasagna, you hadn't eaten all day, and you were eating fast, because yeah, you can always eat more, yeah, and you hard. ate all of the lasagna, you ate all four servings, that's 1,120 calories. That's a lot. Yeah, That's a lot. good to know. And like we always say, like informed consent, right? Absolutely. Right. Know what you're getting into. If Absolutely. you want to go for that lasagna, you have to understand that. Also, a serving size is not a recommendation of what you should eat. Sometimes you think, oh, I should only That's eat. annoying. It is. Yeah. They are not showing any opinion in any way of what you should eat. It's really? what you probably would eat. Probably wow. would. So that okay. makes it a little tricky to it understand tricky. what should my serving right? size be. That and is then tricky. all these values are going to be based on a 2,000 calorie diet. But for someone like me, I'm a small person. I don't eat 2,000 calories a day. Mm -hmm. If I did, I Respect. would certainly gain weight. So talking to your doctor about what's important for you, your weight goals, it's gonna matter. Then yeah. you know what you're getting into. Okay, so after calories, we're gonna pump down into the daily value percentage. Mm -hmm. What is happening here? So under 5% is low and over 20% is high. Oh, that's good to know. So that means I'm not getting too much of something. Yes, and there are foods you want to eat. Or, you know, nu nutrients you want less of and nutrients you want more of, mm. right? Okay. And that's so this tricky. this top category is the formula that you just said not you Not necessarily. Okay. Because look, trans fat, we don't want any trans fat in our diet uh, at okay. all, ever. So that would you, be considered one of the red flags. Yes. That's one of my questions. Yes. What are red flags that we should look out for? So mm -hmm. trans fat is one of them. Yes, what too, else much be fat fat too much saturated fat can be a fat. problem. Carbohydrate, right? There mm -hmm. should be a limit to your carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. And just keep in mind, fiber and sugar alcohols fall under carbohydrate. So what about sodium? Because I know you mentioned it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yes. that's something it's that always pretty high about. in these like yeah. prepared foods. Right, and in yeah. this frozen lasagna, take a peek. That's 37%, that's one, one cup. cup. Yeah. That's a lot. So if you eat that whole thing, you're over 100% of your sodium for the day. Right. So that alone, Sheesh. if you have high blood pressure, sodium's a problem, yeah. mm. for sure, right? Okay. So you have to at least give these numbers some consideration. Yeah. yeah. And say, maybe I don't want to be eating this. Here's another really interesting thing. Have you guys ever heard of net carbs? Yes. You've heard of yeah. this term. Mm -hmm. This is not recognized by the FDA. Very important to know, health food companies will put it on their label. And what net carbs is, is if you take the total carbohydrate and you subtract the fiber and possible sugar alcohol, so companies might say, oh, there's, let's it's just less. say, if yeah. there was 30 grams of fiber in this lasagna, that would be really high. You'd probably have some problems later. Yeah. <laughs> but then it would only be 30 grams of net carbs. You have to be careful with net carbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're still getting all the calories from your right. net carbs, okay? So 
the FDA doesn't recognize it, and I just want to point that out. Okay. Fiber wow. is important, yes, absolutely. Protein is important. Um, but all these things, it, take your time and read it. Don't yeah. just yeah. grab a packet and throw it in your cart at right. the grocery store. Right. Okay. And right? where can people get more information about your fitness and nutrition advice? Yep. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Jody's Fit Life. I always like to say it's Jody with a Y because it's hard to spell. Yep. Like people probably don't spell your name right. Oh, Tati. Ever. Come on. Come on. Ever. If you right. misspell Tati, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Question. Well, Jody with a Y. They, they call you toddy, yes. like a hot toddy. Yes. That's what happens. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. But Jody's fit life. Jody with a Y. Yeah.